Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Poodles. So in today's video, we are showing the second session of the poodle puppies in their weaning process. So what I have here is a uh, slightly taller casserole dish. And in the casserole dish, we have um, stage two um, puppy formula and goat's milk. And what we did was um, we just showed it to the puppies, each one, one by one, and really showed them that it was important to stand beside the container, put their face down into it, right, so that they could learn to, to lap up the milk slash formula mixture. Um, this is a new skill for puppies when they're weaning, and sometimes it can take them a minute to really get the hang of it. They have a tendency to put their faces in it, they put their noses in it, um, they often try to climb into the dish, so it's really about teaching them, um, you know, how to lap it up and then also how to stay out of the bowl. And we are having huge success. Um, by their third time using the casserole dish, um, everybody was staying on the outside of the dish, right? They weren't climbing into it, and they were happily drinking up the milk and they were good to go. Now, I didn't show it in the video here, but Luna right here, our smallest puppy, um, she initially did really well the first time she was introduced to the casserole dish. Um, but the other puppies are slightly larger than her and she was getting edged out. And so our concern was that she wouldn't be able to get to the milk fast enough, even though this um, casserole dish is just a temporary situation. So we decided to feed her separately so she gets her own little ramekin because her tummy is so tiny. Um, and we feed her separately so that she can take her time, you know, lap up all the milk, and we're still, you know, working with her to teach her to stay outside the bowl. And I forgot to mention earlier, the reason why we do that and we put such emphasis on it here early on is because as the puppies wean to solid food, it's going to be very important um, as far as keeping them clean so that they're not getting into the bowl and, and making a huge mess. Um, it's something that puppies usually master uh, later on, closer to eight weeks, but we have a really, really intelligent group here, and we are really pushing them um, to master this skill sooner rather than later, because with this many puppies, it's very, very important to keep them clean um, and also it's winter time. So anytime that they are dirty and you can see here that their faces are a little bit wet, that's because we've cleaned them after they ate. And, um, even though we have a heater in this room, I don't like for them to be wet and then be left you know, just in the heated room. I really like for them to stay dry as much as possible, um, just so they they don't get a chill because they are, even though they're little chunky monkeys, they, they are still small. So we're just trying to keep them clean and dry. Oh, that was so cute. Boy, I, caught, that was, I caught it on video. He was wide open. Yeah, that was, was his full speed. That he was, was like, um, I'm going to get you. Yeah, that was his 60 second uh, takeoff. Mm-hmm. Looks like everybody's tired. 